What's up everybody? It's Brian from the Business Reef Tank. Today I want to go ahead and give you a close-up view of the Bubble Tip Anemone Tank. Now if you are not a member of this channel, please go ahead hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I release a new video and thank you for watching the channel. Now the Bubble Tip Anemone Tank is probably my favorite tank out of all the ones that I have. Uh, it's not as complex as the 180 doesn't require as much time, uh, less livestock, smaller footprint, so it's easier to maintain. A lot of the corals and anemones that I have in here have the same type of lighting and flow requirements, so it's not like I have zones like I have in the 180 tank. There's no sand in here, so I don't have to worry about the issues that come up with the sand bed. You know, it's kind of one of those reasons why I like a theme tank, because typically those theme tanks are a lot simpler than your mixed tank or your mixed reef with all the different requirements of your SPS corals, your LPS corals, your zoanthids, your fish may have different requirements. So this is a nice, simple, easy tank. I just sit back and watch the tentacles sway in the current. So in the tank, of course, I have bubble tip anemones. I have green ones, I have rose ones, I have acid rain ones, I have ones that have like the little candy corn up top, um, multiple types of rainbow BTAs. Recently I had one of the rainbows split again, so once again these are splitting probably once a month or so at this point. I'm going to have to start getting rid of some of these pretty soon. I do want the whole tank's uh, rock structure to be covered up with bubble tips, so once that happens I'll probably start getting rid of some of the splits as they happen. As far as the other corals I have in here, I just, just recently got this uh, kind of purple and yellow uh, torch coral. I've been looking for something similar like that for a long time now. With the band, it's hard to find torch corals. Of course, I have the zoanthids. Um, I have a scoly button coral. I also have the meat coral, which is a, a major attraction of this tank. Um, as far as mushrooms, I have a jawbreaker and a couple of bounce mushrooms as well. The zoanthids are really starting to fill in. I can't wait till this entire rock is filled with zoanthids. The fish are doing pretty good. They are being hosted by multiple bubble tips in the tank. Uh, in the morning, I can see them in the green one. In the afternoon and evening, they may be in one of the rainbows in the back. As far as the other uh, invertebrates I have in here, I still have the blue link of starfish. I only have one skunk cleaner. I haven't seen uh, the pom-pom crab in a while, but he probably is still in here as well. A couple of emerald crabs to take care of bubble algae and any other um, type of ditrous or you know anything that kind of starts growing on the rocks. Um, I still do have the peppermint shrimps. Peppermint shrimps are what are keeping the Aptasia at bay right now. Since I see no Aptasia, I know the peppermints are doing their jobs. I normally only see them at night, so once again, um, it's a nice tank, easy to look at, very nice to look at when you're looking at it from a top-down type of perspective. Um, the 180 gallon reef, I can't look at it from the top down because it has a canopy, so I enjoyed that view only with this tank here. Well, that's it for the bubble tip anemone tank. Like, comment, subscribe. In the comments, let me know what your favorite bubble tip anemone type is. Do you like the roses? Do you like the rainbows? Do you like the more expensive ones like the black widows? Let me know. YouTube. Happy reefing, and as usual, take care.